thy spirit, Lord, now unto me, that he may touch my eyes and make me see. Show me the truth concealed within thy word and in thy book revealed I see thee, Lord. Page 211. I just love that song. That's a good song. I like it. Huh? Yeah, I like that too. Fairy Story of Jesus, page 211. Fairy Story of Jesus, Ruler of all nature, O Thou of God and man, the Son, Thee will I cherish, Thee will I honor, Thou my soul's glory, joy, and crown. Fair are the meadows, fair is still the woodlands, robed in the blooming garb of spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus shines purer than on the woeful heart. To sing, fair is the sunshine, fair is still the moonlight, and all the twinkling starry hosts. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than. Uh, I'll get on with the reading of the email. Microphone speaker. Mm -hmm. oh, we get emails from around the world. We're on the internet 24 hours a day all over the world. And uh, we're on TV in about 200 towns and cities. Uh, I got an email here from Hadley, England, from Tony Brown. And Tony writes, Hi, since September I've been trying to understand Jim's position on blood baptism over water baptism. Is it, it, there's a loud reverb there, Mike. I have watched as many of Jim's messages on this subject as I can find. Thanks for the DVDs you send me on this subject also. This subject is real sticking point at the moment because it is so far out compared to what we are taught in the global church, but I am getting there. Well, if there's one baptism, it can't be water. Uh, and it never occurs to people that a blood baptism is a death. And it is uh, in the ancient world, but you're not going to get that out of these modern books. My own lack of knowledge of English grammar is a major stumbling block. I spent my youth in juvenile detention mostly, so I didn't go to school. I am completely uneducated. But I work to rectify that every day. When I speak to people about blood baptism over water baptism, they don't get it, and they say, how can the rest of the church be wrong 2,000 years and Jim Brown be right? That's kind of like how can eight people be right getting going into the ark and uh, the rest of the world be wrong? It's just the way it is. And I can't really argue. I, need, I just need some corroboration from some sources other than Jim as may be the final piece of the jigsaw to help me respond 
and to the naysayers in the message 3838. At 7 minutes and 12 seconds, Jim mentions a book somebody called Harry, Harry Baltima, B-U-L-T-E-M-A. Write it on the board. Huh? Write it on the board. Okay. These are some of the things you need. Harry, B-U-L-T-E-M-A. He's got a book on baptism. And then you've got the McClinic and Strong. You've got 12 volumes. Uh, McClinic and Strong Encyclopedias. M-N-S. What? Volumes. What? Volume. 12 volumes. Okay. Twelve volumes, and look for the B volume on baptism, and it's called in psych or called Cyclopedia. Of biblical ecclesi theological. and ecclesiastical literature. One of the best set of books in the world has ever been formed, literature. And look in the B, B volume under baptism. Also look at the B volume under blood. It'll tell you about a blood baptism. And then you've got uh, Mr. Girdlestone, his book on synonyms. Synonyms of the Old Testament. It actually says Greek synonyms of the Old Testament, Mr. Girdlestone, Robert Baker Girdlestone. Robert Baker, a great scholar, Girdlestone. And look at the section on baptism. And the 12 volume set of Cyclopedia Biblical, Theological, and Ecclesiastical Literature is by John McClintock. Oh, it's, I believe it's M C L I N T O C K. Yeah. yeah M C L I N T O C K. McClintock, M C L I L I N T O C K. And James Strong. Mr. Strong is the one who correlated the Strong's exhaustive concordance that everybody in America uses. So these are places you can get a lot on baptism from Harry Boltima, and you've got uh, James Dale. He's got about, I think he's got five books on baptism, and I've got three of his books, three books. He's got patristic baptism. He's got, uh, uh, I can't even remember the other names of them, several names of books on baptism and these are some of the best information by some of the best scholars that's ever lived now in fact when you look at this b volume over here it will tell you baptizo not being a verb implying motion 
It's not a verb. A verb shows action. He said it is an infinitive, a verbal noun. In fact, anybody who knows his stuff will tell you that. So does Mr. Girdlestone says the same thing. It's not a verb showing action of the subject, being dipped down into something. Not it. Besides that, look up tomb, T-O-M-B, in the McClinic and Strong. It'll tell you they did not bury people downward, like when they, I baptize you in the name of the Father. They didn't baptize them that way. I didn't bury them that way. They buried them in tombs. Any self-respected Jew would be buried in a tomb. Wasn't Jesus buried in a tomb? So how can we be baptized? How can we be buried with him in baptism? If you bury somebody in Israel, you'd have to bury them sideways. You'd have to get a, a big wind, a great big fan, blow a wall of water up there and then put some staining and dyeing in it because that's what baptized means, to cover with a stain or dye. I didn't say that. The great scholars will tell you that. Boy. So look up to him. And then he goes on to say, I just need corroboration from some other sources than Jim. Well, I don't ever say these things that I don't tell you where I get them from. Um, the final piece of the jigsaw, and to help me respond to the naysayers, in message 38, 38 at 7 minutes and 12 seconds, Jim mentions a book, somebody called Harry, but I can't get the second name, but it sounds like Botima. Uh, but the name is not spelled out, and Jim does not mention the title of the book either. I tried all sorts of spellings on Google and got nothing. I always buy the books Jim mentions, so please could you send me the name of the author and name of the book. If there are any other books regarding blood baptism, there's many books uh, over water baptism. It's not over water baptism. Water was a proselyte baptism. Please also give me the details. Thank you for all your help. It is very much appreciated. Tony Brown in Hadley, England. And then I got a letter from Alan Petorius. I enjoy your teachings and have learned a lot. I have done two years of Bible school in South Africa at Rama Ministries about 28 years ago. Rama Ministries is always associated with the positive confession people out of Tulsa. We don't believe in that. So learning the Word of God is very important in my life as it has so much in it that helps us to grow to be more like Him. However, I've been battling with tattoos, <laughs> being okay or not okay. A lot of people are doing that. I'm not going to tell people to have your tattoos removed. I'm just saying if it's got a, a naked girl on your arm or something, you want to cover that up. Many preachers are saying it is okay because God has subscribed our names in his hand. Well, the Bible says God has, has uh, engraved in his hands our name. The mothers would engrave in their hands some image that they would say depicted their son. That way when he's off to battle, they could look at that and remember it. Joyce Meyer said it is okay if in a YouTube clip called Thoughts on Tattoos, can you please tell me if tattoos are right or wrong? Thank you. Kind regards, Alan. Petorius, I'm not going to tell you whether you should do it or not. Anything that would bring, re, re, bring reproach upon Christ, you don't want to do it. I don't see any sense unless you put predestination is true and God does not love everybody. Uh, it has to be something that will make people mad and want to hit you in the head. But uh, anyway, EM Cube 38 commented on Simon Peter, the keys to the kingdom of all believers, binding and loosing and judging righteous judgment. And their comment was, do you have something on touch and agree? That's Pentecostalism. You can touch something and agree that something will happen. The, the one you agree with is God. Agree means to confess, means to be of the same word, 
So the only way you can agree with God is say what he said. Uh, Ace Alpha commented on why we do not believe in millennium or pre-trib rapture. Last Trump eliminates both. Dude, wake up. <laughs> Even the enemy, the Illuminati, know that the rapture's real. We're going to be changed at the last Trump. You better find that in the Bible. You'll find it in Revelation 10 and 7, and you'll find it in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 and 2. I don't care how many people say these things. It's not true. What wisdom do you have? Your wisdom is even worse and slower than the enemy. <laughs> this is a funny guy here. You know, He probably belongs in a circus with a great big red nose. <laughs> when you are ready, you will not fear. Being saved is not about works. We're saved by faith that works. Faith that works is dead. Faith worketh by love. By, by agape. Read the King James Version. No second chance. Tribulation saints are the Jews. Romans eleven twenty five. People, are, he's funny. Uh, Ace Alpha, you're funny. You ought to go in a circus. Teddy Dupree writes, Chili Cook out weekend message. I just love listening to the testimonies. They all have that common theme, lost and looking, and by God's great grace, he leads us to his truth. We have an amazing God. Thanks to all the flock. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Agape and Phileo. Teddy, we appreciate your words. Reuben Robinson uh, commented on most people in the world are going to hell when they die. He says, what is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. Over there in 1 John, the third chapter. And if belief is a verb... Belief is not a verb. Believe is a verb. Belief, gosh, how can I keep explaining this? Belief is the same word as faith. P-I-S-T-I-S. -I -I Believe is the verb form of faith or belief. This is a noun. This is a noun. This is a verb. Believe is, and it's the word P-I-S-T-E-U-O. I know you probably don't believe that, but that's the truth. All right, enough said there. All right. Uh, if believe is verb, what actions must I do? You have to do what God commands you to do. Take your cross and die daily. Uh Love is everything commented on scorpions or false teachers from the bottomless pit, the sea of no knowledge. So good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten O's on oh, good. Thank, thank you. That'll be all I can read. People, people think if the world believes something, it must be right. Most people in the world are going to hell. Most of what's being taught in the churches is wrong. It don't matter whether you believe in predestination or not, it's true. It don't matter whether you believe it was against the law to celebrate Christmas 300 years ago in America, it was. Do what you want with the truth. When you face the truth of God and look it straight in the eye, you have to go against the preachers because most of the world is apostate and fallen away. I'm not here to make people happy at all. I'm here to tell you the unvarnished truth. Now, all right, that'll be enough reading. Now, let me sit here. All right, let me give you our announcements. We are on TV all over the United States. We're on in, we're on in uh, Los Angeles, San Francisco. We're on up in the Seattle area, Chicago, all over Kansas, all of just about everywhere in Kansas, but Kansas has mostly fields and wheat growing out there. Lots of prairie dogs. 
and uh, we are on uh, in Chicago, Michigan, St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, we've been on in Detroit. We hadn't been getting calls from there, so we may go off. Maybe that'll please some of you. Uh, and we're also on in all the boroughs of New York. A borough is a city. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, the Bronx, all five of those. We're on in uh, Boston, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia. We're on in Washington, D.C., uh, Charleston, South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina, and we're all over Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Beaumont, San Antonio, and Austin. On in Tulsa, Oklahoma City, and Des Moines, Iowa, and Roanoke, Virginia, and a whole bunch of others. So if you want us to stay on the TV, support us, and we appreciate it. We support our needy people. We've got a bunch of needy folks. And uh, if you want to help our needy believers, uh, make your check to grace and truth and put needy on the bottom of it. We got a bunch of needy folks. And if you want to help our missionaries, they meet here every Tuesday night and Scott preaches in Spanish. This is for the Spanish believers. He preaches the things I teach. Christmas is pagan, Easter is pagan, and God doesn't love everybody and predestination is true. You want to support them, make your check to grace and truth and put mission on the bottom of it all right let's uh we've got our picnic coming up next year next january the what june, june the what 29th. june the 29th and we'll be on we'll be having our picnic down here at rockland recreation center same place we have it every year june 29th well, let's go to the Lord in prayer. And Chris, would you like to pray for us? Dearest Father, we thank you for Christ, our Savior, for the truth, for the great gift of uh, your grace and election. Keep us in the narrow way, um, hungering for the truth, uh, loving each other, and encouraging each other. Uh, be with Jim and Mary. Uh, and uh, keep them uh, in good health so we can continue to be taught and fed. In Christ's name we pray, amen. 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 Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. hey, Jim. That guy, Tony, that's the one that wrote last year about his wife that I told you I was oh. that old message. Oh, did he? He's still listening. That's interesting. Evidently, he That's is. Well, if you're if you're elect of God, you're elected to hear and you're elected to obey, and you can't walk away from it, huh? Okay, you can't walk away from the truth. That's like walking away from your multiplication tables after you grow up and you become a professor of calculus in college and say, "I'm gonna quit using my multiplication tables." No, you're not. You can't walk away from this truth once you know it. It's not possible. It may get lonely. It may get weary. You may get tired. That's your problem with life, and that's what the problem of life is with a believer. 